What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last Dynasty video we took on Nevada and as you could tell by the score we had no issues there whatsoever. Once we got past the first quarter, the first quarter was abysmal. They went up 17 to nothing, just insanity. Then when the second quarter happened and then all the fireworks really went off for us. We ended up with two punt returns for touchdowns, two pick sixes, and our offense played a lot better. Now, Gronky got hurt, and Colt Brandon stepped up and had a, a marvelous game, went 19-25, 380 yards and four touchdowns. Final score, 63-24, one of the craziest games I've ever seen. It was pretty wild, to say the least. Today, we are taking on Utah State. They're 3-5. and five. They've lost two in a row. As you could tell, we have a whole lot more talent than they do. I can't tell if they're good at anything. Looks like their pass defense is okay. But I, I mean, we're going to test that for sure. But we should be able to take care of business. Now, they run a balanced offense with a 4-3 defense, and I think they like to favor the run. But, of course, we'll always go by where their impact players are at. If you look at our team info screen, we still have our fourth best corner out for a few more weeks. But Gronky is still doing his thing as long as he stays healthy. Of course, he got injured in the last game. But he will be playing today. Scruggs, it is what it is with our running game. It's just we try to keep it efficient there. Grant is going off. He is back to form, and he is playing as good as you could possibly ask a wide receiver freshman to do. And defensively, that stayed pretty consistent with a few Ingram and Murphy. Utah State, it looks like their previous game, they got beat by Louisiana Tech pretty handedly. They have a quarterback out for the season, but I don't think he is the starter. We will check that out here in a little bit. But you look at their leading quarterback, eight touchdowns, eight interceptions. That's not a very good stat line. Nothing really stands out with their running back, their receivers. And defensively, that doesn't tell me a whole lot there. Some big news on the recruiting front. Jeremy Bowling did commit to us in the last game. Guard at a California four-star player. That's going to be a good pickup for us. He may start for us next season. I'll have to check our guard situation. But when you add him and then five-star Tyree Glover out of Mississippi and the big defensive tackle out of California, Antonio Russell, that is a great haul for the end season recruiting. I really enjoyed focusing just on two or three guys at the most. It gives you a better chance to go after them, of course. Now, it helped that we had positive pitches for all three. But it emphasizes off-season recruiting more, which is a lot more fun anyways. Let's look at the bowl rankings. This kind of matters to us. I mean, we're 10th in the country. I think BCS-wise, we may, yeah, we're, they have us 12th here. But I always want to check to see kind of what's going on around the country. Texas, Arizona State, Georgia, Michigan, and Florida. Of course, the Heisman Watch really matters to us. And look here, top three, Grant, Washington, and Gronke. That last game helped. Now, with Gronky, it hurt him a little bit, but that's okay. He's still in the top five. But seeing the top two receivers at one and two is just incredible, especially with Grant. I've just never had a freshman wide receiver do what he can do. And Washington is just doing everything in the passing game and on special teams. He's really helping us a lot right there. We finally have some awards to look at. We are looking at the semifinalist awards list, and here we have the Maxwell Award. Gronky and Grant, one of three. Who would have thought Grant would be on this list? I don't know if I've ever seen a wide receiver on the Maxwell list. I guess I may have had somebody there at one point or another, but that's incredible to see a receiver right there. It's usually quarterbacks and halfbacks. So it looks like Gronky and Grant may be battling out for the Maxwell Award. Of course, Gronky is going to be up at the top of the list for the best quarterback award. He should stay there for the rest of the season unless he gets injured or what have you. But as long as he keeps putting up his normal stats, I think we have a good chance of winning that one. This does not shock me whatsoever. Best wide receiver award, Grant and Washington. They will be battling out all the way through. And look there, there is the, lay, the great Deshaun Jackson. He's still in the league. He's going around from team to team. But he was just an absolute stud in college back in the day. So it doesn't surprise me that he's doing damage here. But again, it's really cool to see two of our wide receivers battling for that wide receiver award. It is good to see Michael Washington up for the best returner award. 
I think he has a good chance with this. If he could sneak in maybe another touchdown or two, I think he has a chance to get it. But look who he's going up against, Deshaun Jackson. So it's a big battle for those two guys for returner supremacy. And last but not least, we are going to be up for the best coach award. As long as we keep winning, we should have a chance. Good to see Colorado State coach. Looks like they're having an amazing season. Then you got Rutgers and Toledo. But here we are, fourth right now. Just keep winning, and we'll slowly move up this list. Let's check out the players of the week. In week 10, looks like wide receiver Aaron Kelly out of Clemson put on quite the show. 10 receptions, 232 yards, and four touchdowns. That's incredible. He deserves that, and then some. Then on the defensive side, Anthony Felder out of Cal, outside linebacker, 12 tackles, a sack, an interception. I assume he'd return that one for a touchdown. Just a killer game by him. We could check out the players of the week in our conference. And Colt Brennan, good to see him get offensive player of the week. 19-25, 380 yards, four touchdowns. Great to see him step up when we needed him to. And defensively, I, this kind of shocked me a little bit. Cedric Oliver, four tackles, just one interception and a touchdown. I guess nobody else in the conference did much that week, but it's good to see Oliver do some damage there. We can check out the conference standings. This is important to us, mainly because we got beat by Fresno State, and it is a standoff. We still need them to lose a game, but technically we are still up there. As long as we went out, we should be fine, but we need Fresno State to lose, so that's the key right there. Then Boise State is playing really well, but we got the tiebreaker over them, so I'm not worried about them, but I'm pretty sure Fresno State and Boise State will be playing each other very soon. Another team of note, and that is Washington State. We have been following them for quite a while now. That is because we have a very good chance of getting invited to the Pac-10 pretty soon. The more Washington State loses, the better chance we can replace them. And they are a two-star program. They keep losing ball games. They're now 2-5, and 0-4 oh in the conference. Fingers crossed, hopefully they keep losing, so we do have that chance to get invited into the Pac-10. I can't wait for that to happen. Ooh, look at the weather here. Look at the wind. It's going to be freezing today. Not a big crowd. There is the conference standings. Going to highlight Gronky. He's wearing the long sleeves. That's pretty cool to see. Let's check out Utah State's team quarterback. So the the guy who was injured is their best quarterback. He is out for the year. And their backup is who we're going to face today, Jared Walker. 76 speed. That's going to give us some fits. I'm guessing he's going to scramble a little bit today. You look at their halfback. Impact guy. Another impact running back we'll have to go up against. And he's not even their most talented running back. Their backup appears to be a little bit more talented. But I'm sure this guy will provide a challenge today, especially since they like to emphasize the run a little bit more. This tells me they'll probably run quite a bit. Fullback, I'm not seeing a whole lot there. Wide receivers, just okay, just not all that great. They got some speechers, got some guys in the 90s, though. Tight end, nothing special. Left tackle, just looking at their offensive line. Nothing great other than their right tackle is pretty good. He's a monster, 6'9", 3'13". They do run a 4-3 defense, 68 overall, 70 on the ends. They do have an impact defensive tackle, so running up the middle may be a little tough today because of him. Looking at their linebackers, 80, and then I think this is their best defensive player, Jake Hutton, impact guy, 84 overall, 84 speed, just an ideal outside linebacker, especially if you're running like a 4-3. Just incredible looking. Corners. Hopefully we can exploit this today. They got two small guys that are awful in the 60s. Just nothing behind them. I mean, we should be, if we can't get matchups going here, then we don't need to be playing. But we should be able to take care of business against that unit. Free safety, just okay. 78 overall, 78 speed, and a bad strong safety. So their secondary is not that good whatsoever. Kicker. Just not very good. Punter, nothing special at all. 59 overall, nothing great. But their kickoff, we'll have to pay attention here. They do have some talent who can probably do damage there and on punt return as well. We'll go cover two man here. We're going to go pass out of the gate, and I just got destroyed by the left tackle. Good tackle by Murphy coming over. 
Let's think too high, man. If I was them, I would just be running the ball all day. But they're going to pass it again. Intercept that. Great play, son. Good job by Barry. He threw it kind of early, I guess. Not sure what he was attempting there. Great play by the free safety. Maybe he was feeling pressure. Either way, good job by Barry. We're going to go Curl Reed. Looks like we're going zone dime. I'm going to give Washington. Ooh, look, look at that. They got both of their impact guys on the line. Ah, got bogged down. We're going to get some yards out of it, luckily. Let's go triangle. They're going man nickel. I am. Let's see if we can get Rackley. Is that a better matchup? It looks like we're going to have a good matchup everywhere. I see cover zero. Let's see if Rackley can break it down. Oh, what a perfect throw. My goodness. Right over the shoulder, Gronky. He broke Graham Harrell's record. Go back and look at that. He's got 135 touchdowns. Awesome. So I guess he's the all-time leader in passing touchdowns. I've never done that before. That's a first for me. We're going to go man-dime here. Again, if I was them, I would just run it. I'm going to do a lot of man just because of that guy right there. Hey, I, they're, they're throwing a ton. I'm surprised. And Cedric Oliver is hurt, injured his arm. Hopefully it's not too serious. Let's start to go in with a bigger set. I'll still go 4-3 man. That's a good stop. As good as I can ask for for an impact running back, but I was able to get to him. And I may have goofed up here. They're going goal line. I went 4-3. Oh, great stop. Huge stop by Murphy, the freshman. Wow, great play by him. The freshman making plays out there. Fourth and one. Looks like they're going man. Now, I wonder if that impact guy is going to be on Grant. So... I'm going to make a change, and we're going to go to Rackley in case they go cover zero. They'll throw on first down. Short toss. Got it to the senior. They went cover one, so went to Washington. I thought that was a good decision. We are going to go deep cross up or going man. I'm going to leave it as is. They never go cover zero, so I'll probably end up going to Grant on the right. Yep. Ah, uh, not the best throw in the world. That is terrible. Cedric Oliver is out for seven weeks. Man, that is not what we want. He's out for the rest of the season. We got to get over that. So they are going zone. We are going to try to go to Big Grant, see if we can get the first down. Or we're going to get sacked. Somebody came through. You can go look here. Somebody just came right on through. My left guard. No, it's a good blitz. My halfback, Larson, just did not pick him up. You see right here, I don't know what he's doing. As you can see here, Oliver is out for the seven weeks, so we can check out our depth chart. Man, that's awful. I mean, he's probably our most talented defensive player. I mean, that's a big for us. Just a big loss. Hopefully, Anderson can step up. I don't know. We are out of strong safety, so it's hopefully Anderson doesn't get hurt. Otherwise, we're going to have to move a free safety over. We'll stay on. We'll get back on defense, try to get a stop here. They got great field position. Ah, just can't get around the guy. That's a holding. Holding. Yes. I was held. Ooh, nope, that's not a holding. <laughs> we'll take it anyways. We will definitely accept that first and 25. They may run the ball here. That's why I went cover too high man. Going to go halfback draw. Great stop, Al. I was able to get around the tackle this time. We're going to go quarters. I think they're going to pass going forward. You would think they're going with a screen over here. Ah, dang it. Great pickup. But it's going to be third and long. Third and 15. Let's see if we can get to this quarterback. I want to pressure him. I know he can run a little bit. Ah, good pickup on the block. Great defense by you-know-who. Steve Murphy, corner, freshman. Going wide receiver curls. They're going man 4-3. We have some possibilities here. I'm going to do something like this. Go to Larson. That's a face mask. That should be a five-yarder, at least. 
Personal foul. Face mask on the defense. Fifteen yarders. We will accept that and then some. Looks like they're going zone nickel. We're going to go with halfback out. I'm going to leave it as is. This will probably end up going to Larson. Not the best throw. Good catch. We're going to go back to tight end streaks. They're going zone. So we will move Davis over. I threw that way too late, but we still got the completion. We'll go Curl Reed. Now, they're going zone. I would love to run it here, but they got some behemoths up front. And I think it's in our best interest just to go to Washington. Oh, big play. Big play by 19. Good block by Grant as well. We're going to go triangle. They're going zone dime. I can attempt to run here. Like, we can try a little audible. Ah, great defense. The guy came blitzing. You see right here, nothing you can do about that. Just good pickup by the defense. Puts us in a third and long. I'm going to try corner strike or going zone dime. I'm a little worried about this. We'll see what happens. Terrible throw by Gronky. Terrible throw. I am going to go halfback direct. It's, we're in territory where I can go forward on fourth down if needed. I just want to see if we can pick up some yards. I want this guy. Moved over. Let's see if we can get the first. There we go. I thought that was a good decision just to get the first down there. I wanted to have a better fourth down situation, but I think that one worked out much better. Good play right there. We're going to go zig outs against dime zone. I'm going to make that one adjustment right there. They'll throw on first down. Good throw to the big guy, Grant, for the first down. And that is the end of the first quarter. We'll get right into the second. We're going to go slot screen. They're going man, so we're going to have to hurry this up before that other guy gets over there. Not a very good play. He got bogged down. All the, Every bit of that was bad. We are going to go slam. They're going zone down. Let's see if we can just run it in for a touchdown. We'll go to the right. There we go. Easy play right there. Six points. That gives us a stretch lead of two scores. We'll go dime two high man here. If I was them, I would just give it to their running back. Good stop, pal. Good play right there. Two high man again. Oh, good play by the halfback. He cut in. I was hoping he was going to go out, pick up a first down. Going back to ace spread. I don't know why he does that. I don't want him to do that. I want him to be on the line like that. Good throw. Dig route, first down. They're starting to move the ball a bit. I still expect the run here. Good job, Al. Great play. Ah, I love it. I'm going to stay in cover two high man. It wouldn't shock me if they ran it again. Ooh, almost intercepted by Adams. Big play right there. It is third and long. We need to get a stop right here so we can get the ball back and stretch the lead. Now, he can run the ball. He can scramble. So we got to be careful with that. Oh, I just got annihilated right there. Ah, first down. Good play. What do you do? We'll go 4-3 man again. Ooh, a fumble. I forced a fumble. Oh, they get the ball right back. So close. I am doing some damage on defense right now, a defensive end. I hope I can keep it up. Good stop with on the fullback dive. They're going with a bigger set on a third and seven. I still expect them to pass here. Oh, I completely missed him. What a goofy play that was. That was all-time bad. Go back and look at this. Look how close I was to a sack right here. I just, I, I blew right by the guy. Look how close. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. And then he makes the throw of his life. Almost get a tip. Not even close. He actually didn't have a chance. Adams had a chance. That somehow got through. 
just a goofy play. Oh my, I mean, what it, What do you do? They are going zone and we are going deep cross up. I need to try that other play. I just forget to call it. Let's see if we can get something going here. Good protection from what I can tell. Good throw. Good throw. Great play to Washington. That's exactly how you want to draw up. Look at a highlight here. Yeah, right where it needs to be. I probably could have done a spin move or something right there, but that's okay. We can go back to Curry. They're going zone dime. I probably need to run the ball. We can try that. We can audible. Good little run by Scruggs. That was a good adjustment. Pick up the first down. I'm going to go slot screen, but they're going man dime. I tell you what I may end up doing. I think I'm going to run the ball again. We're going to do something like this. And see if we can get, pick up some yards this way. Probably didn't need a juke right there, but we still get the first. Man nickel, we can do triangle. And we can probably do something like this, perhaps. They're going cover one. We'll go to Davis and just get the first down. Not the best throw, but catchable. Good play by Davis. Man for three. I will keep this simple. Since we don't have a whole lot of room, we're going to do something like this. And we're going to go to Larson. For six points. Great play all around. Good drive to get that touchdown back. We'll take that any day of the week. But just a good, clean drive. I like it. We'll see a lot of highlight here. That linebacker had no chance. Six points for the halfback. Another good angle. Great play. Back to ace spread they go. We will try to hold off a run play more than likely. Going with the pass play. Bad throw. I think the receiver stopped. We will go back to cover two high man. If I was, nope, they're going to pass again. Oh, almost got to him. Good catch, but not enough. Out of bounds. Third and ten. It is third and ten. I'm going to try to go after this guy now. He hasn't really scrambled on third down yet. He will eventually. He's doing a decent job. Oh, good protection from everybody. Good defense, though. We'll take that. Big play right there by few. We are going with this play. We've called it all day. Now, I, I still would prefer to go to Rackley just because I think that impact guy is going to be on Grant. So we'll see what happens here. They're going to cover one, and I was correct on that. He was covering Grant, so that was a smart play. Deep cross up. Man, we'll hurry this up. If they go cover one, I may try to go to Davis on the left. Nope, they're going to cover two. Good throw to Grant. That should be a first down. We're going halfback out. They're going man for three. I'm going to try. I just wish they would go cover zero, but they never do. Ah, just not a very good throw. We'll call a timeout. Calling a timeout. They're going 4-3, man. We will go with this play right here. I hope they go cover zero. That would be great. Looks like they're going to go cover one. Good throw. The rack. We're going to have to hurry this up. 23 seconds. I probably should have called a timeout there. we got to hurry this up. <laughs> Cover one. I have no choice there, but we're going to get a big play right here. Ah, we're going to have to call a timeout since I didn't get out of bounds. Let's call a timeout. Eight seconds. Let's go back to curls. We're going to do this right here. Now, that inside corner, the nickel that's on Grant is blitzing. So we're going to do something like this. Uh, let's, let's make this even easier. Let's bring Rankley over. If they go cover zero, we're going to go to Grant. Nope. We got to go to Larson. Can we get the touchdown? I think we can. Six points. Good deal. Good adjustment. Now we are up three scores. I didn't think I was going to have enough room to go to Grant. So that was probably the smart play to go to Larson anyways, even if they went cover zero. But they didn't, so my decision was easy. Go to 29, who's having a big game so far. Okay, that is end of the first half. We are up 28 to 7. We can check out some stats. Everything is going our way. It has been as good as a clean of a football game as we can ask for. Offensively, we're doing our thing. Passing game has been on point. 235 yards through the air. Only one sack given up. 
Both teams are actually doing okay on third down. I know 40% doesn't sound great, but it's still not bad. The one turnover did help us stretch the lead a bit with an extra touchdown. Just a good uh, first half overall. Looking here, Gronky, 18-20, 235 yards, three touchdowns, no picks. Good to see him have a bounce-back game off the injury he had in the last game. Receiving, Washington is having a great game. Seven receptions, 105 yards, no touchdowns. Larson, this is his biggest game of his season, probably. I want to get Grant going if I can. We'll just see how that goes. Welcome to the Halftime Show, where we will break down a couple of key games this week, along with what is going on across the top 25. We're going to start things off with a game of the week, and that is Florida versus Georgia, number four versus number three, the world's largest outdoor cocktail party. It should be fun. We'll kick things off in the first quarter on the first drive for Georgia. They will pick up a field goal to get the lead, get things going a little bit. And that's where things get quite interesting. They get the ball back in the second quarter, but what happens? An interception, a tipped interception by a defensive end from Florida for a pick six. Just a killer play. Big play for them. Big swing of momentum. Florida gets the ball right back late in the second quarter, but what happens? Another pick six, this time by Georgia. Another swing of momentum. They're going to get the lead of three points. They're going to head into the halftime, 10 to 9. Now let's go into the third quarter. This is probably the play of the game right here. They're, Georgia's fixing the score. We're going to see a toss or a swing pass to the halfback and a fumble at the goal line. A heartbreaker. Great play by the linebacker from Florida. Hits him, and the ball rolls into the end zone, which leads to a touchback. A humongous play. But the man of the hour is Manson, the halfback from Florida. Swing pass to him, and it's all she wrote. He's off to the house. Nobody can stop the kid. Arguably the best halfback in the country. And he is not finished yet. He's going to go wild. Into the fourth quarter, the game's about over with. Off tackle play to Manson. And what do you know? Off to the races again, a broken tackle, and he cannot be stopped. Player of the game for sure. Just an amazing talent. And Florida is up 11. Does Georgia have life on the ensuing kickoff? What can they do here? They need a big play, and that's what they get. Run up to the left off a kickoff return. Can he get it in the end zone? Oh, he can't, but it's good stop there. Minute 24 to go. Can they get something going? They need at least a touchdown and get the ball back with an onside kick. But on a fourth and 10, it's going to be tough with a snap here. A strip sack in a sense. The ball is dropped. They treat it as an incomplete. And that is the ball game. Florida with a huge win over Georgia. 21 to 10. Manson, the halfback was the player of the game, 180 yards off 16 carries with a touchdown, 52 receiving yards with a receiving touchdown. Big game by Florida, and that should help them with their BCS championship chances. Another game of note we need to look at, and that is Fresno State and Boise State. As we all know, we need Fresno State to lose. Can Boise State help us out and get us one step closer to a conference championship. Let's get right into the first quarter. Boise State has the ball. Quarterback's going to throw a big deep bomb on the right side, and it's a huge play for Boise State. Get them a little momentum, start off the game, and that is going to set up a great run for Ian Johnson to pick up six points. Little off tackle play to the right, and they are on the scoreboard first, seven to nothing. Fresno State had a rough day. High snap. He's going to chuck it, and it's a bad play. Interception, huge for Boise State. And can they capitalize off of it? Just a great play by the linebacker. And that's going to set up some nasty things. Boise State gets right down the field on that next drive, and they're going to give it to their stud running back in Ian Johnson. A little toss play off to the right for another touchdown. Big lead out of the gate for Boise State. They get the ball right back. Boise State does. Another deep ball, this time to the left side. Huge play by the wide receiver, number 40. Going to give them a three-score lead. Just a perfect throw right on the sideline. A very tough throw to make. But he caught that right in stride. Boise State has all of the momentum. And guess what? They get the ball right back. We're halfway through the second quarter. Halfback direct to Ian Johnson. And he will not get touched. 
28 to nothing. Boise State. This is what we're looking for with Hawaii. We need Fresno State to, to get beat, and that is what is happening. Just a monstrous play by Ian Johnson. Still in the second quarter, Fresno State, they just can't get anything going. They try to go for a deep ball, and it is a terrible throw. Another interception by Boise State. I mean, it's 28 to nothing, and we're in the second quarter. Now we're heading to the third quarter. Boise State on an ensuing drive, an interception. Honestly, the only good play Fresno State had on the day, but it is not enough. Heading to the fourth quarter, Boise State off tackle to the right, and the kid is not going to get touched. 35 to nothing, Boise State, and that is the game that we needed for Fresno State to lose. They end up getting beat 35 to nothing. That's just big for us. As long as we win out, we got one more conference game left. We should be able to win the WAG championship. Let's look at the rest of the top 25. Number 10, USC took on number four, Arizona State, and USC came out on top there. Number three, Nebraska beat Iowa State 42 to 14. Number 16, Ohio State beat Michigan State by three. Number 21, Florida State got upset by NC State 41 to 38. Number 24, Texas A&M took on Oklahoma and they came by with a squeaker, got the win 38 to 35. Number 14, Texas Tech took on Baylor and they was able to win by a touchdown 35 to 28. Another top 25 matchup, Mississippi State took on Tennessee, and Mississippi State went on the road and beat my beloved Volunteers 23 to nothing. Number seven, Cal just put a whooping on UCLA 49 to nothing. Number 25, Arizona beat Vanderbilt by seven with a squeaker. Number three, Texas got upset by Oklahoma State by three. Final score 38 to 35. Number 22, Kansas State beat Missouri by 10, 34 to 24. Number 20, Iowa, beat Penn State 38 to 24. Number 19, Colorado State got upset their first loss of the season. They got beat by San Diego State by four. Number 11, Colorado barely squeaked by Kansas 32 to 31. Number two, Michigan destroyed Northwestern 65 to 28. And last but not least, number five, Miami beat Virginia Tech by three, 21 to 18. And that is it for the halftime show. We're in the middle of the field. I'm gonna try my other middle of the field play. They're going zone, so we should have a chance. Hopefully this will work. We'll see. I'm gonna do that. Ah, rock. <laughs> we got, I, I hit the wrong button. So Larson is supposed to be L1 and I was supposed to go to him. My right tackle got obliterated. So I was just gonna pass it to my halfback, but that didn't work out. So I accidentally hit R1 and what happens? We get lucky here and Washington gets the catch. That's that's fine, whatever. You take the breaks when you can get them. <laughs> the going man nickel, I'm gonna go with a five. Uh, this is corners. I don't think, they never go cover zero. So I know who this ball is gonna go to. It's gonna go to Davis. I wish they would go cover zero. But I don't think they will. I may try to force it to Grant here. Nope, they're going cover one or cover two. We'll play this smart and just do go to Davis. Good play there. Man four three. We'll go tight end delay. I'm gonna leave it as is, but I'm gonna motion this guy over. We got to go back to Larson again. That's what they gave us. We're gonna get a big play right here. The day is Larson's game for sure. Good for him. We'll go back to Curl Reed, man, nickel. I would love for them to go cover zero. I want to see Grant get a touch here. But they're going to go cover one. We'll play it safe. We'll just go over the middle to Davis. Great throw. Great catch. Great play. We're going to go slot screen or go in zone nickel. So we'll just go to Grant, see if we can get some yards here. Good blocking all around. Good tackle, though. Took two guys to bring him down, though. We're going to do triangle. Now, they're going to go cover zero here. They got both inside corners going to go over the top. Uh, so, I want to try something like this. I hope this works. I hope I don't mess this up. I want to see if we can go Grant. Like that. Ah, just not a very good play. Just not, a, not the best throw in the world. That was good defense, but the throw just was not good at all. It was worth a shot, though. It's third and five. I'm going to go with this play right here. I think 
I'm gonna try to go to Rankly over the the other side. Or just make a bad throw. Well, that's not what we wanted. So we will kick a, a field goal. Just a bad throw by Gronky. Good adjustment in terms of uh, Kiba's open. It just needs the throw needs to be there. So let's see if we can make this kick. And I missed it. Ooh, it curved in <laughs> the direction we wanted it to. Dime too high man for us. They may throw the rest of the way, but who knows what's going to happen here. They may just go right, to, right back to their running back. I just can't get over there quick enough. Good stop, though. Everybody had great containment there. They still seem determined to run it, so we'll go with two high man again. We'll make a little shift with the linebackers. I just can't get over there. Oh, that should have been in. That should have been a sack. Just couldn't get to him. Good play though. Third and ten. We're gonna go to Cloud. They're going with a big set. Bad throw. I think he threw a little too low. Gonna get a fourth and ten. Okay, they're going zone dime. We're gonna try deep cross up again. I just gotta make sure I hit the right button this time. Looks like we're getting decent protection. Good throw. One thing I did notice here, they may get a good highlight. We'll check this out. Good little play. Great throw. It's right where it needed to be. One thing we can check here. One thing I want to see is they went cover two zones. So this is what I want to see. And we got a basic rollout situation. The thing is, that safety stayed put right there in a... These two receivers collided with each other. That didn't help things. But by then, I have to throw the ball. You can go back and look. I'm already probably in the process. Yeah, I already got the ball in the air. So I need to think a little bit on this one. Maybe I don't even have to roll out. I could probably still make that throw without having to roll out, especially if this safety is going to stay right there. That's just something for me to think about. Anytime I've called this play, it's worked better on the left hash as opposed to in the middle. But that's just something I need to practice on. We're going to try tight end streaks again. They're going zone, so we'll keep it simple and go to our one zone beater. We'll bring Washington over. Dude. Weird looking play right there, but we ended up getting a whole lot more yards than I expected on the 12-yard line. I want to just try corners out of a spread. They're going zone dime. I think it's in my best interest to just run the ball here. So that's what we're going to do. We'll just run to the right. Great, uh, just a bad play all around. Bad, just bad situation. All that, every bit of that was weird. Just a bad play. I mean, good job by the defense. Is that the defensive tackle who made that play? Yeah. Nobody could pick it up either. So we'll get back on defense. They're going back to one of their bigger sets. Probably will run it. A delayed run. We'll take that. They got a few yards out of it. Man too high right here. The Aggies line up with four wide Get a stop. Oh, I was right there. A fumble. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> None of that made sense. I don't think I've ever seen the ball jump that high before off the fumble. Wow. Look at a highlight here. Scruggs with the play. Crazy play right there. Look at that ball bounce. <laughs> I want to go back to corners, but they're going zone dime again. I was really hoping they would go man. I'm going to go back to the run. We're definitely going to go to the right. Nothing there. We could try a deep cross up. I think we got enough room for it. They're going zone, so let's see if we can get decent protection here. Not really. Ah, just a terrible throw. I don't know who he was going to there. We will try a deep attack. They're going man to nickel. He's coming down. They're going to go cover one. Ah, dang it. I got no choice. Just a bad play. We may go for this, though. We're going to go tight end delay. I, think, I, I don't want to kick a field goal. So we will make some adjustments here. Go to Grant, get a... Oh, I was hoping to get around that block there for, for a touchdown, but it didn't work out, but that's okay. We're going to go corners now. I want to go to Grant. They're going cover one at least. They're going man. I want to try to go to Grant. Let's see if we pull this off. 
or we could get sank. Good job, Al. Somebody came through. We can see here. I went back way too far. And Scruggs, or he just butchered that block right there. He just completely whiffed it. Just missed it. I didn't get it off in time. See, I tried to pass it. It just didn't work out. We're going to try halfback streak. They're going zone. Let's see if we can pull this off. Again, I'm, I'm trying to force the ball to Grant in the end zone. Like that. Six points to the big guy. That's what I wanted to see right there. I tried my hardest to call a red zone play to get our big guy in the corner so he can make a play. And thankfully, they went cover two zone wide open. Good to see him finally get a touchdown for the day. Here's another great highlight. Wide open. You can't leave the biggest, best wide receiver in the country open. Our cover two high man defense has just been great all the game, so we're going to stick with this. I still expect them to run some. Great stop. Good defense. That is the end of the third quarter. Looking great. Let's finish it up strong. We'll stick with two high man. I just couldn't get around the guy. He may get some yards on this one. Nope. Good defense. He couldn't find a spot to go through. Oh, there he goes. And I I picked the wrong guy. Got the first down. I could have stopped him there. Need to be careful here. They're going to go with a pass. I think he's out of bounds. He may have got that. Looks like he got it. Great stop, Al Higgins. Use your tackle for loss. I'm going to try to get to this guy with somebody else. Oh, so close. Oh, big play by Adams. Good interception. I think it bounced off somebody's back on that one. Great play. He's had a great season for us. We can look at a highlight here. Went a little play action. Almost got to him. Bounced off his hands. We'll take it. I have put in my second string. I think we're it's time for that now. They're going man too high. We're going to see. I will probably just run the ball here. They got their first string in there, so we may not get a whole lot of production on this drive, but that's okay. Didn't get much there. Man, dime. We're going to go curl read again. Looks like we can go to probably... We can pad some stats and do something like this for Washington. He's still in the game. We can run a little bit of clock. They're going to cover one. Get an easy first down to best. Good play there. We are going to go QB choice. I don't call this play often, but I want to just fool around with some more running concepts. And we're going to run a little bit of clock. So once this gets down to a couple seconds, we will call this play. See if we can get some yards going. Hey, good defense right there by the corner. We was able to get around him for a first down, though. Good play. They're going zone nickel. I want to go with cross. I haven't called this play in forever. We'll see what happens here, though. But this will probably end up going to Cox, unless I come up with something a little bit better. We'll try this. Ah, bad throw. That was my fault. That wasn't Brandon. That was on me. We can go back and look at this. I have a center beater, but it takes me a little while to get open. I probably could have called something different. I probably could have had you go back. I probably could have done a slant with this guy right here with Washington. But instead, I had a dig with this guy. It ended up being a great uh, play by the defender. You go over here. It was just too late. That was my fault. I probably need to make an adjustment in the future when I call that play. That was a great interception, though, by that guy for sure. So I can't. I, I got my second string in there. I can't go 4 3 because we don't have the defensive tackles for it. I only have three on the roster. And we're going to change that here in a minute or in next season. But that's a good stop, though, by Grievous. Because we are low on defensive tackles, I have to call something like this. Oh, almost got the sack. So close. Good play, though. I'm going to see if I can get to this guy. Ah, uh, good, good play all around. But we're going to get a good stop, though. Going to force a fourth and two. I'm going to experiment with corners. They're going man nickel. I want to see if we can try something like this. They're going cover zero. We're going to go to Washington. I, that was my fault. I didn't get it off in time. I waited just a tad bit too long. But hey, in his defense, he had to get it off. Yeah, he just came right on through. We're going to go curls. We're going zone dime. I probably need to get a couple audibles out of the gun, but we can still do something like this, which is fine. I'll probably go to the left. 
And nowhere to go here. We're going to get some yards, though. Had to get to the outside. We could try a cross, deep cross out of normal, gun normal. I may try to go to G Mullen on the dig. Sometimes that doesn't work all that well. We'll see what happens. We're going cover one. Ugh. We're going to have to go to this guy right here. Oh, just a great defense all around. They went cover one, but they had three linebackers spying right there. So I didn't go to the dig. I guess I had the room for it. I'm afraid this guy, he would have done like a super jump or something. So I probably had a, I should have went to the dig. That's my fault. Cover one, never go to, uh, to the post. Uh, just a bad play on my part. We have to stay in 3-4 because I don't have the defensive tackles to run it, to handle that. That's a good stop, though. Second and six. First string in there, for whatever reason. They're down 31, and they're trying to make a game out of it. There's no point getting my second string in there, or my first string back in there, I should say. Great stop. They went counter. Didn't work. Big play right there. Somebody came through. Let's end this game by taking a knee. Good win, 38-7. to seven. Let's finish this thing strong with a simple kneel down by number 15. And there's your final score, 38-7. to seven. Let's check out some stats. Looking at the stats here, 427 yards. We didn't do a whole lot offensively. It was just kind of a weird game. You see our score. That's kind of low for us, only 38. But... It, Passing game, we've done great. We had our second string in there in the second or in the fourth quarter, which kind of hampered some of our stats. Our third down ended up going way down. I guess we didn't convert any in the third or in the second half, I guess. A lot of turnovers today, a lot more than usual. There was five of them, a lot of weird, goofy fumble type things, but an interception or two along the way. Checking out some individual stats. Gronky, 28-33, 375 yards, four touchdowns. That's going to probably squeak him back up to the one or two spot on the Heisman list. You look at receiving Washington. If he would have got at least one touchdown, he may have supplanted his status as the number one spot. I couldn't get Grant the ball as much as I wanted to, but we did squeak in a touchdown late, which is good to see. Defensively, Everybody had their share of tackles. Nothing strange there. Tackles for loss. Higgins, that was me uh, controlling him the entire time. I had a whole lot of fun playing defensive end. I thought I'd done a great job containing on my side of the ball, especially against the run and such. So that was pretty fun. No sacks, but Adams had an interception, and Zach Barry, the free safety, had an interception. So this was the big news out of the day's game. Cedric Oliver is out for... Arguably the rest of the season, he may be back for the bowl game, depending on when that is. But that's a tough loss for us. We don't have a whole lot of depth there. We got one guy literally behind him, and if that guy goes down, then we're going to be in big trouble there. But I hate to see that for him. He was having a really good season. So as you can see here, we have a bye week after this game, and we're going to head into the Nebraska game, which is going to be our next game. And this is going to be a lot of fun. I've been waiting for this one all season. It's been a while since I played in that stadium. They are incredible. I mean, they are competing for a national championship. Just a top 10 matchup for the ages. Hopefully, we can pull off the upset. It should be a lot of fun. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.